Here you are, is this your three pieces of icons? Yes, um, these three icons just happened to be left over from when I was uh, teaching, when I do courses, I uh, uh, demonstrate different stages. I so see. normally this yeah. means the icons are about three mm. quarters finished at the end of the course. <laughs> so I have all these unfinished icons lying oh, around, wonderful. so I, I quickly <laughs> finished them off for the show. Yeah. Okay, I love the title of these icons, Archangel, our, our Christ, and then and can you can tell me something about the, your reflections on the writing the icons? The reflections? Impressions. Reflections of our spirituality. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we can pray with our lips, but we can also pray with color. So yeah. when I'm praying, when I'm making an icon, yeah. I'm mm. quite aware that I'm, I'm praying with color, with, with matter, I mm. to think of the material world as mm. a dictionary of words mm. which God has given for us mm. to write hymns yeah. in. So I think of all the mm. pigments and the wood that yeah. the icon is made from as mm. notes for a musician or words for a poet. Ah, so um, obviously one's trying to pray in one's heart, but yeah. the actual act of painting can ah, be created. That's well. a style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a bit like... Um, Mm. A portrait painted from a photograph is very different from yeah. a portrait mm. painted from real life. So yeah. if one tries to, to, to know the mm. Lord or the angel who you're mm. painting, so yeah. you're, you're, you're painting from real life rather yeah. than from <laughs> Shall we start from the Christ uh, yeah. and you tell us something about the, uh, the portraits and yes, um, um, the colour? and the Yes, well this one down here... Yeah. Um, a background always wants to reveal something of God's glory. So either mm. it's gold, which reflects light, um, or if it isn't gold, it could be a reflective colour like white or mm. white. Here it's vermilion, which mm. um, gives heat off, as it were. So this sort of yeah. suggests God as, mm. as, as life-giving. Yeah. But whatever yeah. it is, the background has got to indicate mm. something of God's mystery and yeah, life. It is. Um, mm. The words here, O on, um, mean literally the existing one um, mm. in the Old Testament when God appeared to Moses. Mm. He said, I am who I am. Yes. Um, but in the original Greek, mm. not the, the Greek translation of the Hebrew, mm. that is in, interpreted as um, I am the existing one. O on are the Greek words, the, and on means existing. So mm. I like to think that we have love, we have life, but God himself is love, God yeah. himself is light, God himself yeah. is existence. Mm -hmm. yes, so I find it's image, amazing yeah. that yeah. this man walking on earth yeah. is Jehovah, the one who created the universe. Yeah. So icons just love this sort of yeah. union of, of opposites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one reason I think why the, mm -hmm. the halo, which represents his divinity, has within it a cross. Mm -hmm. So the cross, only a human being can suffer. So God becomes human, so he can suffer, so the cross enters yeah. the circle. Yeah. And the Archangel Gabriel, um, he has a staff to indicate that mm. he's a messenger, the word angel means messenger, mm. but also it's a staff of authority, like mm. an angel is a ruler, um, mm. a warrior. Um, and the sphere here, with X which stands for Christ, indicates the wisdom of angels. So um, normally it's a sphere which is slightly transparent to show that mm. um, angels perceive God's work in the world. They're wise because they see the world not as opaque, but they see it as translucent. Mm. They see Christ acting mm. um, and coming to us through mm. the created world. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Uh, how about the the, the pro here? Yeah, the, the, yeah. Yeah. This represents both the fact that an angel is a messenger, so it's ah. like a travel star, but oh, also yeah. authority, like a scepter. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. angels are, are sort of temporary rulers of the world until ah. we do what we're supposed to do and take yeah, over yeah. as kings yeah. and queens of, of mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. um, I put flowers in here just to show you the idea of a paradise. Yeah. Um, it's a paradise. That angels uh, uh, guard the entrance to paradise yeah. but through Christ, mm -hmm. they let us go into paradise. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the general mm -hmm. garments are taken mm -hmm. from um, the Byzantine court. Uh, the, the, the emperor would have normal eunuchs around him, yeah. uh, and they were the ones closest to him. 
Mm. So here, the angel is like um, an attendant on, on God in, oh, in, in the heavenly court. They're close to him. Oh. And so this is this is one of these. Have a, mm. if, if you see um, images of people in the court around an emperor, like oh. mosaics in Ravenna, yeah. often you see these funny shapes. Mm. Actually, that's what that's mm. Yes. That's the beauty of the icon. <laughs> Any special color that you like? Um, uh, you can have many different colors for angels, yeah. but um, one, I tend to use um, stone colors. Mm. Um, like this is azurite, and that is yeah. actually that's earth, but there's some vermilion in because mm, 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 angels are bodiless, and and and, pe- and pigments made from stone tend to be a bit brighter, more radiant than earth mm. colors. Yeah. So you want you want to show that they are a- beings of light. Yeah. Whereas if you're painting a monk, you might use more earthy colours. Oh, you know, about, about, yeah, about, yeah, yeah, about yeah. close to the earth while they're close to God. So yeah. um, that sort of poverty of the monastic oh, would lend you to use not so much mm. semi-precious stones, but earth colours. Yeah. Okay. One very last question about this platform here. Is mm-hmm. there any special meaning? Yeah, well, it's like um, we hear of a footstool for a king or queen. And oh, so this sort of shows that they're like a prince, like yeah, 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 yeah. And with mm. jewels on. Oh, they, oh, they are the jewels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So it's like a sort of a footstool or pedestal, oh. yeah. just to indicate the, the high oh. status in the heavenly yeah. court. Very interesting. Mm. And the expression that we're looking for, an icon, is mm. what's often called bright sadness. So mm. the saints. Um, are full of joy because they're in heaven, but yeah. on the other hand, they still identify with our suffering. So mm. there's always a slight sadness in the icons mm-hmm. because they're mm-hmm. with us in our suffering. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like to say that if we're mm. suffering and we're paying in front of an icon, you don't want a big cheesy smile mm. and say, "Oh, cheer up, it'll be all right." Yeah. You've got to feel that they're with us, <laughs> but at the same time, they're not mm. sort of too oh. sorrowful. <laughs> they've got joy but yeah. they're compassion yeah. at the same time. So you are very joyful when you are writing your. I can't well, it's a struggle. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm always joyful, it's always a struggle. <laughs> you know, you're one's never content. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're a pharmacist, you're never happy. You're, 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 you're always trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. indicate something which mm-hmm. is sublime, mm-hmm. and you know you're mm-hmm. always going to fail. Yeah. So I can't say. I mean, it is joyful, but it's a struggle. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. If someone tells me I really love painting the icon, it's so easy or whatever, I think I'm a bit suspicious. Yeah. I think, you know, if you paint a good icon, it's always a struggle involved. Yeah. Depends on which type of icons, yeah. and, uh, and also the time when you are have your, having your feelings mm. at the time. Yes. So, for example, this one, Archangel and Michael. How long do you take for this uh, to write? Uh, I suppose actual painting. Mm. Four days, perhaps. Four days. Four days. Four days. But then the, you've got to make the panel just so oh, yeah. that might take a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And then the design, you might take a day. Uh, a day. Um, the painting, probably four mm, days. Mm, 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 if you mm, gild, do water gilding, burn okay. gilding, that can take a whole day. Yeah, um, yeah. But in this case, the only, well, there's no gold at all apart from your seats, the very fine lines here. Yeah. Um, mm. But a burnished gold background takes a lot longer. Ah. With experience, you get to paint more quickly without okay. losing quality. Yeah. Um, mm. So, yeah, with the time, you, yeah. you learn about that. Of you course, you have experience, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, yeah. Mm.